Over 700,000 people lost their lives as a result of disasters between 2005 and 2015. Approximately 23 million were made homeless. The total economic loss is estimated at more than 1.3 trillion US dollars. The intensity and frequency of natural hazards is increasing through climate change. When we talk to farmers locally, they tell us about it. They describe it very precisely. So when a disaster like a storm or a flood or a drought hits them, vulnerable farmers they can lose their entire livelihood base for the running, but also for the coming seasons. A FAO study, which looked into the period of 2003 to 2013, has shown that the agriculture sector absorbed about 22% of all damage and losses caused by natural hazards. But agriculture is also a sector which can contribute a lot to reduce the impact. It's part of a solution. We know farmers, pastoralists, they are the custodians of our environment. If they put sustainable practices on their land, a lot of disaster impacts can be reduced. Investing in prevention is four times more effective than compared to the cost of emergency response. We need to invest more in preventive action, not only in the context of natural disasters, but also in the context of protected crisis and conflict. FAO supports countries that are highly affected by natural hazards in developing sector-specific plans for disaster risk reduction. We have a rich fundus of practices and technologies which can be applied to enhance the resilience. Like stress-tolerant varieties, resilient animal breeds or advanced water management practices. There is a need to upscale practices, there is a need to enhance the access of the most vulnerable, particularly to the knowledge and to the practices we have. I think if we continue this way, if we move ahead, we will be able to build the resilience of our cities, of our farmers, of our communities and the world.